Hi, I'm Bob Fitrakis. I edit the Columbus Free Press. I'm also an attorney, particularly dealing a lot with election law. Uh, one thing people uh, ought to think about is these mass purging uh, of voters. I live in Ohio. In Ohio, uh, Frank LaRose, the Secretary of State, has purged nearly half a million people this year from the voting rolls. That is, they removed their name. Now, here's what you have to ask yourself. Why? In a state that requires ID at the polls and with computers, why are you removing the names of half a million voters? And the answer is simple. You're doing it to cheat. You're doing it because you're generally contemptuous of democracy. And here's the big difference in the United States. We leave this up to 50 state politicians, these secretaries of state. And overwhelmingly, if you're a Republican secretary of state, you're going to purge poor, minority uh, voters, people of color, the elderly. You're going to go after the crux of progressive democratic supporters. If we were in the European Union, it would uh, be the job of an election official to register citizens to vote. We need to fight back. We need to make the lives of the Secretary of State, like Frank LaRose here in Ohio, we need to make them uh, really unlivable, where it's so painful, where they can't appear in public because they're destroying democracy. And already the uh, Columbus Dispatch and the New York Times has pointed out that 20% of those voters live at the exact same address. There was no region, reason to purge them. And if they live in the same county, they're still allowed to vote just at their new address. They're destroying democracy. They're creating states for Trump and people like George W. Bush to win when the reality is these aren't battleground states. The only reason they're battleground states is because these voters are being removed from the voting rolls. In, in swing states, narrowly divided states like Ohio, um, Ohio had a particular procedure where they, um, after you didn't vote in one election, they would send you a notice saying, hey, do you still live there? And then if you didn't return that notice and didn't vote a couple more times, uh, they would remove you from the rolls. And there are about six states that have similar procedures, uh, including some important states like Pennsylvania and West Virginia. So those states could be affected. Uh, and in a close election, it could make the difference. In 2004, Bush wouldn't have won uh, Ohio had they not purged 305,000 voters. And then in 2008, they purged 1.25 million voters. And had Obama not engaged in re-registration with the community group ACORN, uh, Obama would have never won Ohio. We can't let these purges, these deregistrations, destroy our democracy. Democracy should be the people's will, and also democracy is in the street. Hopefully I'll see you there fighting for the rights of people to vote and not to be purged from the voting rolls. You need to go to freepress.org and read more about these unconstitutional purges. Also, check out Trust Vote TV.